only myself Sri Lanka and today I will deal uh, uh, pests of uh, pulses okay first I uh, list out the pest then I will tell uh, about one of the pests so first main important pests of pulses are gram caterpillar gram caterpillar red gram pod fly then red gram plume moth these three are most important pest from pulses okay first i will discuss about gram caterpillar here in gram caterpillar scientific name of gram caterpillar is helicoverpa armigera helicoverpa armigera and it belongs to order Lepidoptera. It belongs to order Lepidoptera. First, I will discuss about marks of identification. So, how we will identify the pest in the field. So, first, these adults, adults are stout in nature and they having olive green or grayish color or brownish color wings. Olive green or brownish color wings and this picture belongs to Helcoverpa armigera so four wings having four wings having a band like structure a band like structure on four wings at outer margin at outer margin and they having one uh, spot or dot dot at coastal margin coastal margin this is coastal margin this is outer margin here one band like structure is present at uh, uh, outer margin and one spot present at coastal margin it, it is uh, present in four things and then hind wings we can observe a black band at outer margin here this is full of black color band present in hind wings so this is a symptom and it is a overall about adults and larva they are in different colors uh, greenish color greenish color larva reddish brown color larva reddish brown color larva and they having uh, white colored broken lines white colored broken lines and uh, two or three white lines at sides of the body so for example here this is larva here we can see the two to three lines and here we can see broken lines these lines are white in color so larva is actually cylindrical in shape and it is greenish color or reddish brownish color so these are marks of identification then next nature of damage so nature of damage first uh, this larva feed onto the feed into the foliage then they will enter into the pods they will enter into the pods, they will eat in the contents of the pods and they make holes on the pods. Holes on the pods. So while eating, uh, we can observe they thrust their head inside the bowl or inside the pod and uh, leftover body outside of the bowl. Okay, for example in cotton or in red gram. We can observe one uh, regular hole or one round hole inside they turns their head inside that hole and uh, left uh, body we can see the outside. Only head part inside and uh, re uh, remaining uh, body part we can see the outside of the locule or uh, outside of the pod. This is the nature of damage so this is most important uh, objective. In which pest uh, they uh, turn their he head into the 
pod and uh, remain body is outside so mainly answer is gram caterpillar we can see this symptom in uh, we can see this type of uh, nature of damage in gram caterpillar due to that nature of damage we can see the symptoms like round holes round holes or regular holes or regular holes these two are same round or regular is uh, mean same so symptoms are round holes or regular holes we can see on the each pod or each locule okay so this is uh, nature of damage and symptoms of damage then we will discuss about oviposition pupation and management oviposition on tender plant parts on tender plant parts not in or under on tender plant parts and then pupation site is soil inside the soil in the soil this is very important objective for example point of view pupation inside the soil then we will discuss about the management so in management first point first we should destroy the crop residues destruction of crop residues then hand collection or hand picking of egg masses hand picking of egg masses then uh, installation of pheromone traps installation of pheromone traps at the rate of 4 per acre then uh, growing of uh, trap crops growing of trap crops like marigold at the rate of 100 per acre 100 per acre uh, it is act as a ovipositional trap ovipositional then growing of intercrops like cowpea, urdbean in 1 is to 2 ratio to conserve natural enemies to conserve natural enemies then dipping of terminal birds when uh, it is 16 to 18 symporials and before 80 to 100 days of the crop growth ok to avoid the oviposition then Erecting bird purchases, erecting bird purchases to attract the birds like crow, mina, they will eat on the caterpillars and they will control the pest. And next thing, application of uh, HANPV, application of HANPV at the rate of 200 larval equivalents uh, with the jaggery and sand of it. Jaggery 1 kg, sand of it 100 ml, and uh, we can use uh, in 10 to 15 days interval. 10 to 15 days interval. Then growing of maize crop or basra or jowar. Jowar, maize around the crop as a guard crop. Guard crop. Four rows. And next thing, uh, release of larval parasitites. Larval parasitites like uh, Brecon brevicornis. Brecon brevicornis. So it will control the pest population. So it control the larvas. And then uh, after uh, all this treatment, if there is any leftover pest, we can also use the chemical method. We can uh, spray emamectin benzoate 
एमामेक्टिन बेंजोएट एट द रेट ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स पर लीटर वाटर एंड वी कैन स्प्रे ऑल ओवर द क्रॉप ओके सो दीज ऑल डिफरेंट मैनेजमेंट मेथड्स और मैनेजमेंट फॉर द कंट्रोल ऑफ हिलकोवर्प आर्मीजेरा देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रेड ग्राम पॉड फ्लाई सो नेक्स्ट फेस्ट रेड ग्राम पॉड फ्लाई सो साइंटिफिक नेम मेलेनाइग्रोमाइजम अपटूज मेलेनाइग्रोमाइजम अपटूज so here it belongs to order diptera first marks of identification these adults are black in color adults are black in color having strong legs strong legs and ovate abdomen ovate abdomen and having uh, one pair of wings and this uh, wings having a uh, trans uh, clear wings wings having clear wings and distinct eyes distinct eyes and they having brownish yellow color at base brownish yellow color at base of the wings base of the wings this is about the adult and the maggots are creamy white in color maggots creamy white in color then their uh, nature of uh, damage or symptoms of damage first thing these flies uh, oviposit or lay the eggs into the pericarp pericarp of the seed or they lay the eggs into tender parts tender parts and after hatching of the eggs maggots enter into the seed maggots enter into seed and they will eat on the seed uh, and we cannot observe any visual symptoms so here it is very important bit no visual symptoms are seen no visual symptoms are seen regarding it entrance regarding it entrance there is a larva oh, sorry there is a maggot inside the seed but we cannot see any visual symptoms okay on outside so this is most important uh, objective for competitive exams and then these maggots then uh, eat on the epidermis these all belongs to second third instar larva third instars they eat on the epidermis and then they enter into the cotyledons and they will eat all the seed so one maggot require one seed so one seed is enough for their uh, life cycle to complete their life cycle they require one seed and next thing and next to see Oh, uh, they will eat completely on the cotyledons, and uh, we can see the symptoms like uh, uh, one mm diameter hole, one mm diameter hole on the pods when after emergence of the adult, emergence of the adult. This is one of the symptoms, and these uh, seeds. affected seeds or unfit for consumption affected seeds or unfit for consumption and they will pupa uh, pupation their pupation their pupate they pupate inside the pod or on pod walls wall cavity so their ovary position is uh, into the tender parts or inside the pericarp and uh, their pupation is inside the pod or pod wall cavity so the symptoms are small uh, uh, 1 mm diameter hole on the pods and uh, with a uh, uh, thin 
layer on the hole we can observe one thin layer on the hole and it is uh, uh, it is observed when after the emergence of the adult and affected seeds were unfit for the consumption so these were overall uh, nature of damage and symptoms of damage of red gram pot fly then i will discuss about red gram plume moth so next red gram plume moth red gram plume moth scientific name exilastis atomosa and the family it belongs to lepidoptera and marks of identification first of all uh, this plume moth adult is uh, slender having narrow wings grayish color narrow wings narrow grayish color wings and four wings these are less than 12 mm long and four wings divided into two parts here in picture we can observe here this is one part and this is one part and these are three parts hind wings divided into three parts and we can observe fringed wings like this fringed wings like this okay fringed wings larva these are grayish color and they have 12 mm in size and they having a fringed and overall spines hair on the body and next thing their nature of damage and symptoms of damage first thing they will thirst in or they will scrape the scrape the pod then make one hole and they enter into the seed and they will eat on the seed okay they completely devour the seed they completely eat in the seeds and they also eat the flower buds they will attack on the flower buds due to attack on the flower buds we can observe the dropping of flowers in severe case dropping of flowers and we can observe completely eaten away seeds completely eaten away or devoured seeds or pods and we can observe small tiny holes on the seeds of the red gram due to the attack of red gram plume moth so these uh, seeds are not useful for consumption so these are different uh, symptoms of damage and nature of damage of red gram plume moth here the main important bit from this uh, topic is uh, firstly scientific names and their families and then next thing uh, ovipositional trap crop for gram caterpillar it is a marigold and nipping of terminal buds for the control of uh, helicoverpa armigera and next thing uh, in red gram plume moth the main marks of identification of the Uh, pest is main important so four wings are divided into two parts and uh, hind wings are divided into three parts in which pest like that they will ask the questions in the uh, uh, competitive exams okay so these are important bits from this topic if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching keep watching